District 5 Councilwoman Mani Von Wilpert voted against the proposal, and she joins us now to explain. Hi, Councilwoman. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Thank you for having me. Why did you vote against the increase? So I have received hundreds of complaints from my constituents about how awful the public utilities department, customer service, and billing issues have become. You know, I've got a four-inch binder here of complaints from my residents asking why they're not getting their water bills, what they can do to get through to customer service. And it was unacceptable to me to vote for a rate increase when we can't fix these basic customer service issues. We were just listening to uh, Council Member LaCava. It sounded as though he thought maybe we, you need an increase in order to fix the customer service. It requires money to kind of fix it. What, what are your thoughts on that? We should have fixed these problems years ago. The city found out about the customer service issues in the water billing department in a 2018 audit. We're talking just new phone systems, an updated software system. We didn't need a rate hike to fix these problems. They should have been done before the rate hike. What we need our water rates to be used for is delivering clean water, fixing broken water pipes, and fixing our dam infrastructure. Customer service could have been dealt with years ago, and I'm so frustrated, and so that's why I couldn't vote yes. Yeah, it sounds like those who voted yes for the increase say that, well, they need to fund infrastructure. We do need to fund infrastructure. I completely agree, and I'm going to continue focusing on that. At the same time, we need to fix our billing system. You know, if we're not collecting money from our ratepayers, no matter what our rate increases are, how are we going to be able to get that money to the city to pay the, what we need for our infrastructure? So until we fix those billing problems, I was not prepared to vote yes on this item. Yeah. How do you fix those billing problems? Well, we need updated software. I went and personally toured the public service, uh, public utilities department. And again, these are the binder full of complaints from my residents about their water bills. They're using software that's over 10 years old. We need an updated software program. We're getting a new phone system next week, which is great. So hopefully when people call in, they don't wait one to two hours on hold. But again, that should have been done years ago. So I'm hopeful that because we've been voicing these concerns, shining a spotlight on this issue, the new phone system and a new software update will help solve these customer service issues. I was just reading that San Diego imports about 85 to 90 percent of its water, which will dramatically change when the full pure water project comes online. Can you just explain kind of how that works? Yes, so right now the biggest cost to San Diego taxpayers in terms of our water rates is how much money we spend importing water from the Colorado River, 80 to 90% of our water. So instead, with our pure water program, we're going to be cleaning and recycling and reusing water in a very innovative way instead of just dumping it out into the Pacific Ocean like we've done for decades, we'll keep that water and reuse it in our system, thus lessening our dependence on importing water from the Colorado River. You know, there's parts of Orange County that have been doing this model for years before us, and we're now catching up here in San Diego. So when can people see their water rates increase? Well, the you know, I did not vote yes for the water increase. I voted no on the water increase, but uh, the council did vote yes. And the first increase will come in December of this year. It's a 5% increase. The next one will come in July of 2024, another 5.2% increase. And the final increase will be uh, in 2025, and that'll be about 8.7%. All right, Council Member Monty Von Wilpert. Uh, great to see you. Thank you so much, Council Member. We appreciate that.